The surveillance state can keep you on the straight and narrow. It can. People don't want to hear it, but it's true. I mean, this is how a, a lot of those anti-porn apps work. I think it was Matt Frad, really great podcaster, was talking about this, that you get, if you want to quit porn, if you have an addiction to porn, you get some of these apps and services that basically whenever you look at a porn website, it just emails whoever you tell it to email. So it can be a buddy, it could be your wife, it could be, you know, and, and so it's a, it's a voluntary kind of surveillance. But if you know, voluntary or not, if you know that every single thing that you type into your computer is going to be seen by somebody else, you're probably not going to go to that naughty website that you want to go to. If you're living in China, say, and you know all your searches are going to be seen by the government, you're also probably not going to Google things like democracy or <laughs> how, to, how to lead a political revolution or things like that. But even just in our personal lives, if we know that somebody is watching, we're probably going to be a little better behaved. 